It's good coffee. What is up, guys? Sky here again, and today we're going to look at how to access your sent emails in D2L. Uh, so this is a pretty simple concept here. Uh, we're on our course shell, but you could even be at the D2L homepage, um, and you, all you need to do is go up here to the email icon at the top and click on it and click on email. And here you're going to be on the compose email screen, but you're going to want to go over here to where it says sent email or sent mail and click on that. And you're going to be able to see a list of all the emails that you sent through D2L. Very useful tool for being able to see all of the correspondence you had with students or other faculty or whoever it might be. Um, and if you click on uh, a given email message, like I have this test one here, mic check 1212. I'm going to click on that, and I can see everything about that email. I can see when it was sent, the time, um, who was CC'd, who I sent it to, the subject, which was Mike Check 1212, and then the message, which was this is only a test. So you're going to be able to see everything about that email. It's a good way to have a running record paper trail, if you will, of emails that you've sent through D2L. The only thing you can't see is the course that it may have been connected to. If you sent it through a class list, for example, it won't show you the course. It'll just show you everybody who got it. So it might be a good idea to get in the habit of including somewhere in the body of that email, if you send it through D2L, what course it's associated with, the, t the title of the course or the course number or whatever it is. That way, if you have to look back at it later, you can tell what, e or what course that email was associated with um, a lot easier. So the other thing that we're going to look at real quick is how to check your user settings to make sure that you are CCing yourself on emails as well. Um, so what we're going to do is go up here to account settings, click on your name and click on account settings. And on this screen, we're going to go right over here to email. And on this screen, we're going to want to make sure that both of these boxes are checked. This first one is basically what makes the sent mail folder work. It will save a copy of each outgoing message to that sent mail folder we were just in. That way you can view them later. This box will send a copy of each outgoing message to your OCU um, connected email. So mine is sltolan at okcu.edu. That way, if I send an email out, I know that it was sent because I also got a copy. Again, you can mess with these settings however you like. However, I would highly, strongly recommend that you keep this top one always checked. That way, there's always a copy in that sent mail folder. You always have a trail of record that you can refer back to. That's pretty much all there is to sent mail in D2L. And as always, if you need any help, you can email us at onlinehelp at okcu.edu.